After Ashlyn saved Victoria from that burning car, it looked like their relationship would rekindle. But Victoria has clarified that she does not intend to keep their relationship any longer. Ashlyn's lies and deceits ended his marriage as well as his merger with the Newmans. Still, he continues to live in Genoa City as recently his son Harrison has returned to the town, which does not sit well with the boy's real father, Kyle Abbott. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. The Newmans have been trying to get rid of the Loch Ness Monster for months. While they haven't been able to push him out of town, a whole new set of problems have unlocked for them as Diane returned from the dead. Eleven years ago, Nikki faced trials for supposedly killing Diane with a rock. She was able to escape the punishment after proving to the court that she attacked Diane in self-defense. However, the guilt of snagging a mother from Kyle never left her. We learned just a couple of months earlier that Diane faked her own death to escape GC and the people she had harmed. It was her own choice to leave her kid to believe that her mother was dead while she kicked around living with a different identity this whole time. Weiner was about to rehash this storyline this time with Ashton faking his cancer. He did not exactly die like Diane did, but he sure did put Harrison through the almost same situation that Kyle once went through. Of course, Kyle had no idea about Ashlyn's scam when he agreed to look after Harrison after his passing. So when he comes face to face with Ash for the first time after learning of his dreadful fib, Kyle becomes very furious. He tells Ash that he will never let him near his son after what he pulled. Ashlyn fails to defend him but once alone, he looks at photos of Harrison and Victoria and swears to make up for all the lies he has told. Spoilers for the next week state that Ashlyn will run into Diane in the same park where he met Kyle and Harrison. He recognizes her immediately. You're Kyle's mother, he notes. Diane smiles back and answers, that's right. Both of them seem to be having a bad day which Ash acknowledges right away. Meanwhile, he attracts Diane's attention to something else. Maybe we have more in common than just having a bad day, he suggests. As far as one can see, these two characters do have some similarities. Both of them are longing to unite with their sons. On top of that, both of them are top-notch scammers. Together, they could be a force to be reckoned with. Do you think it's a good idea to put Ash and Diane on the same team? How do you think will this pair affect the Newmans and the Abbots? Share your opinions with us in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.